Hey everybody, I'm going to do some rainbow coasters today. I'm going to try to. Today I'm using Artist Resin Medium Viscosity by Counterculture DIY, the green and yellow label. My go-to resin for any kind of special effects. I have mixed it six minutes, B first, then A, and I've got 16 ounces for four coasters. I'm going to hit start and we are going to keep an eye on our time. I'm going to put this right here so you can see the time as I'm working. And I'm going to set this aside until about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll come back and mix the white, put the rest of the resin into these coasters. These coasters are 5 inch. They're really large and deep. I'm only putting 4 ounces in. They probably hold more than that. but. Uh, I don't, we don't need that much, and then I always top coat my coasters as well. I've got some golden silver glass bits from Amazon. I'm using lavender, sky, kelly green, yellow, and rose from Bray Reese alcohol inks. And I might put a drop of medium magenta. For the white, I'm going to use pinata white alcohol ink white crystal mica from Etsy Funshine Color Shop and a very very tiny bit of Armor Art Epoxy White Pigment Paste. I have a little cup that I'll put an ounce and a half or so of resin into and then once it's time to put the white into the coasters we're going to use a piping bag. I've got a piping bag inside of a 5 ounce cup. You want more space than your 3 ounce cup you're, you're mixing in. So you have plenty of space so it doesn't overflow your cup. Uh, a heat torch, 91% alcohol or 99. And uh, a low temp heat tool at 300 watts will work. Always use safety. Uh, if you can wear glasses or eyewear and a mask, that's preferred. It's better to be safe than sorry. And I will be back at around maybe 12 minutes or so. Okay, we're coming up on 15 minutes. So I've let this sit in the container. I'm going to make the small cup, no more than an ounce and a half. And then I'm going to divide this evenly. Well, let's go ahead and heat these really quick. Okay, and here in the white, we're going to do just a little bit on the end of the spoon of the white crystal. We want just a hint of shimmer. I'm going to take our stick, put it in, and wipe it mostly back off. So, very, very little pigment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 drops of white alcohol ink. And with the cup, you can feel some warmth. You don't typically feel in the bigger cup quite yet, but it's 19 minutes and I do feel it in the small cup. I also want to take my stick and wipe the end of it really, really well to get that really mixed in there. So these glass bits have some weight to them and they will eventually go to the bottom of the mold which will then be the top side when we unmold it. And so while we're waiting on our time I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to the piping bag. Okay, let's go ahead and get the inks into the molds. So I'm just going to do coasters are different from trays, and I didn't do the spacing right. But anyway, they uh, they are more condensed than like a big tray mold. So don't put a ton of inks into your mold because then it will be oversaturated with pigment. So I'm going to go in between with sky blue. Ok, 
Okay, it's coming in, so I'm gonna do four of the yellow. And I was gonna use rose, but I'm gonna go with pink by Pinata in the very middle. Start with one drop, let it see what it does first. We're at 24 minutes. Do two drops. It's 25 minutes. Twist that. I'm going to do a little bit more blue. I'm not going to swirl the whole area like I typically do, just the outside. We're going to take this and cut a little bit off. I'm going to put my flame on low. So I've got my paper towel to wipe with and I'm going to go in. Okay, I'm going to heat with my heat gun on low. I'm going to do one drop of rose. And just let it do its thing. Kind of twist. A little bit in the center. Okay, and now I'm going to drag out to a point. <clears throat> it's not very thick right now, it's still pretty fluid. We're at 32 minutes and um, it's spreading nicely. It doesn't look like there's any blobbing. Um, so we'll just wait and see what it looks like. This side looks a little pale right here, but you can't really do much about that once you've put your white into it. You've just got to leave it be. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go around. Let's make a little half circle, like little curves. Now I'm going to go in between where the creases are. I'm going to cover this and I'll be back in about four to five hours to show you the other side. Okay, it's been about four or five hours and I'm going to unmold. Pretty. I was trying to make them rainbow colored, but they're not rainbow colored. But very pretty. That shows it on a dark background or no background.
Okay, I did a top coat and decided I did not want it to be clear. I want the background to be white, so I'm going to cover up the back even though it's really pretty. Um, I want a white background for this effect to make it all the colors really vibrant. So I've mixed up basically about two ounces of the fast set, like I did the top coat, and I added white crystal mica and the Armor Art white epoxy pigment paste to it, and you have a 10 minute working time to coat all of them, so you have to go kind of quickly. I'm going to pour a little puddle of white into the center of all of them. And if you use a turntable, I've got a little mini turntable, it just makes it easier. You can hold the coaster, but this makes it easier to where you don't have to worry about getting your coaster uh, covered with fingerprints where you might have some resin on them or something like that. And because it's thicker, you can kind of drag it out to the edge. These are five inch coasters, they're, they're really large. It's very thick and tacky. When you're using Fast Set, if you need to keep a timer going to um, help you make sure you don't exceed that 10 minute mark, because you'll get into a mess with the, the 10 minute mark. You don't want the white going over the edge because it'll creep under and go onto the top surface of your pieces, so that's key to, to use less versus more. Okay, there's a close-up with the white shimmer background. And then the final step will be, I'm going to add gold edges with Pebia Artist, for Artist Marker. It's oil base. Just press. I'm going to go around that top edge, just a little bit on the inside. You have a little bit of a gold rim and then gold edges. And I'm going to do that with all four. And I'll show them to you at the end outside in the sunshine. I hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.